Well, now that summer's coming to an end, I know a bunch of you snowbirds are thinking about heading south, so I thought I would give you a real cheap way to do that. You really only need three things. You need a bunch of people who want to go, you need enough cars to get them there, and you need one of these. This baby's called a, a tow bar. The way, well, the way this works is one end hooks onto the car doing the towing, and the other end hooks onto the car being towed. And it does it in such a way that the wheels turn automatically. So the driver of that car doesn't have to steer, which means he can hold a coffee in one hand and um, a honey glazed donut in the other. Okay, so let's say you have 40 people that want to go. Well, if you put four in each car, you're going to need 10 cars, and nine of them are going to have to have trailer hitches. Step one, though, is you want to get all 40 people to sign a waiver saying they are not responsible for anything that happens. Kind of like a prenup. All right, then your next step will be to line the cars up in a descending order of gas mileage. So you might have uh, like a Honda Civic as your lead car and a Cadillac Eldorado as your 10th car. And the good news here is the Cadillac is not going to need a trailer hitch. Okay, so you get them all lined up and what you want to do is uh, attach them together using these babies. You're going to need nine of them. Don't worry about the costs, they'll pay for themselves, especially if you borrow them. Uh, just just, just a, a note on the side here, if you're, if you're leaving from Canada and heading to the southern United States, I would suggest uh, you don't connect the cars together until after you go through the border. Better to err on the side of caution. So once you've got all ten cars connected and you're assigned four people to each vehicle, you want to have a short meeting with the drivers and go through, there's really only four rules, you want to go, you want to go over them. Uh, number one, every car has to be running. Uh, cars don't burn much gas when they're idling, and with the car running, they can control their own air conditioning and heating, and they can have their own radio on, which will cut down on the number of fist fights that can sometimes ruin a long trip. And then the next rule is that uh, you have a target speed. So let's say 60 miles an hour or 100 kilometers an hour if you don't like doing 60. Uh, and the way it works is that uh, every car is really responsible to help make that 60 mile an hour work. So when you're starting off, Everybody goes in drive until you get up to 60 miles an hour. And at that point, every car except the Honda Civic shifts into neutral. The Honda Civic is going to be humping the whole way. And if for any reason it cannot maintain the 60 miles an hour, like trying to go up a hill or over a piece of gum or what have you, then each driver will see the speedometer drop and will go into drive and give a little boost until it back up to the 60 and then back into neutral. And then the third rule uh, for, it's for stopping, which is also important. And it works the exact opposite way. When the lead car in the Honda Civic uh, sees that he needs to stop, sticks his arm out the window, starts screaming. And then the second driver will do the same and all the way back. And finally the guy in the Cadillac Eldorado will slam on the brakes and the ninth car and the eighth car and the seventh and so on. Up until the, and once the Honda Civic sees that he stopped, he will then pull his arm in and stop the screaming. And then we go into drive and carry on. And really the only other one, the fourth rule, is uh, this is up to the Honda Civic. He has to really use his turn signals well ahead, you know, because uh, what will happen is the guy in the second car will see his signal and he'll put his on so on so on all the way back to the tenth car. And then when you go around the corner, of course, everybody turns the signals off in the, in the same order. Unless your drivers are all over the age of 70, in which case just leave the turn signals uh, running the whole trip. And, uh, you know, that's, that's pretty much it. I mean, a couple other warnings. Uh, I would say, first of all, never run a red light. Uh, and certainly don't try to pass anybody. Uh, other than that, um, I hope you enjoy your winter down south. Uh, feel free to give this a try. And if it works, be sure to let us know.